Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Jessica. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Bissell Crosswave. There are actually two different Crosswaves by Bissell, or at least that I know of. There is the pet one, which is the purple one, and then the green one, which is the one I have, and it is just the regular one. As far as I am aware, and I did some research, the only differences between the two are the roller brush and the pet one has like a lint catcher inside of the um, container where you would have the cleaning fluid and stuff, or actually the dirty container container where the dirty water goes into um, and as far as I know those are the only two differences aside from the price and that is $100 so the purple pet one is $299.99 or $399.99 I'm not sure I will have that come over the screen now exactly how much it is and then the green one like I have is regularly $249.99 I did find mine on Target.com on sale for $199.99, so that is $50 off. And when I went in store, it was not on sale, but they did price match. So you always want to make sure if you find it online um, to let them know because they will price match. So yeah, I did get mine today. The reason why I got this and I have been wanting it, I did do my research and it's gotten really good reviews. I asked my viewers who own it and they gave me good reviews. Um, the reason I want it was I was hoping that it would cut down on some time for me because it does vacuum and mop at the same time so it does pull up dry debris as well as wet and then it does scrub the floor and it also says that you can use it on your area rugs so um, we will see about that but I have not opened it and I saved that to do with you guys on camera so you guys can get my first impression I'm going to go through the box everything that comes in it and then I'm going to hook it up and we're going to use it and see how it does clean water and your cleaning solution. This is the handle. I'm assuming you just snap down in there. I'm sure this should be pretty easy. Let's see if I can figure it out. Should be right, right? Yeah, that just snaps down in there. This is the tray that you're going to store it in and also clean the brush in. Um, and then it does come with a little sample size of their multi-surface cleaning formula. It says it's good for wood, area rugs, and tile, um, and then it is in the pet, or I mean, it is in the scent spring breeze it said is, said is pet friendly. So, see if I can pop that open on my knife. It does smell pretty good, so I'm going to use that, and then it did come with this as well. I'm not sure what this is quite yet, but virtual drying tray. Okay, so happy baby. So this piece is the brush roll drying tray, and I think you can get an extra brush roll um, online. Probably Amazon would be a good place for that, but it looks like it has like a double slot for you to set that in to dry. And I guess I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys a close-up of everything, and then we'll get it started. Okay, so this is a close-up of the storage and cleaning tray, and then this is the little brush roll um, drying thing, and then... You can see the brush roll is already in there. It's so supposed to be pretty easy to remove, um, so we'll see. And then it looks like this is our dirty water tank, I'm assuming. And then it has that filter there, so that looks like you can take that out and wash it. There are instructions up there. And then um, it says this is a swivel head, which I did read or see in my research, which I'm excited about. Um, and then here is the clean water tank that you put the solution into and again this is the solution that they recommend using of course they recommend using their own so up here it has these two different functions and looks like one is for rug and one is for hardwood they're upside down here I guess so the user can see but um I did read in the reviews that the rug setting 
was good to use on hardwoods just because it put out more water. Basically, that's the only difference. So we will see. I will test that out as well. So pretty much that is it for the basics. So now I guess I'm just going to get started and see how it does. My floor right now is very dirty, so it should be a true testament of how well this thing works. Okay guys, I am gonna test it on this area of my floor. Um, I do have some crumbs and debris. This is graham cracker from this morning from my toddler. And then I have this string here from Lord Only Knows What. But there are some like dust particles, hairs, and things like that you guys probably can't see on camera. But, and then the floor has not been mopped in about a week. So it is pretty gross. So we're gonna see how it does. All right, so, so far it's doing really good. It's picked up all of the debris really well. I'm really impressed, impressed with that. Um, as you can see, the floor is still drying. Um, I did try it with the rug solution and that does seem to put out, or I mean the rug option, and that does seem to put out a little bit more water than the hardwood floor. So I think that's just a matter of preference, maybe if you were trying to get done a little bit quicker. So I am gonna run a white paper towel over the clean portion and see if it comes up. Okay, so as you can see, this side is the side that I ran the machine over and this side I have not cleaned yet. So I'm going to take this paper towel and I'm going to wipe and see if it picks up any dirt. And it looks like we've got a little bit of dirt, a little bit of dust, and on camera, I think this is pulling up like it's dirt, but it's actually just the paper towel wet so really it's not too bad um and maybe i'm not giving it a completely fair chance because i didn't go over it really really well with the, the mop i'm kind of just testing it out but let's see we'll do some more spots here it's wet dry up this wet let's see so as you can see i am still getting some dirt up off the floor but then again like I said I haven't mopped in about a week so my floors are really dirty I might just need to spend go over it a couple more times but that's not bad it's not bad in my opinion um, that's probably a lot better than if I use the mop in water so um, yeah I'm gonna finish mopping my floors and I will come back on and let you guys know like my final opinion okay so in order to clean this thing they say to fill this little tray here with water and it does have a little thing here that shows you where you would fill it to the max level so I'm going to fill it there and then this is still plugged in so I'm going to go ahead and set it in and before I forget I totally forgot to take out my dirty water tank so let's take that out and have a look oh my god <laughs> that is pretty disgusting you guys that 
is what it pulled up off my floor and out of my rugs. And as you can see, there's a lot of debris up in there, a lot of hair. Um, not necessarily dog hair, but me and my daughters, we all have long blonde hair. So that is a lot of hair. So I am going to put this back in really quick, clean the brush roll, and then I will come back. Okay, so they say just set it in that tray with that water in it and go ahead and turn it on for a few minutes or a few seconds. So that's what I'm going to do. pretty much um, it did leave a little bit of debris in there probably fell off the brush roll I could just rinse that off that's no problem now I'm gonna see how easy it is to get this off so it says pull okay so that just comes right off you can clean this pretty easily and then this says pull so pull up on this me. pull yeah pulls right up and out of there that is pretty awesome so as you can see as you can see, this is pretty clean. It doesn't look like it has any debris in it. Um, I am wondering, I wish this was machine washable. Um, it doesn't look like it is. I'm going to read the instructions and see if that's the only way to clean it. Um, and like I said, I do know that they do have other brush rolls and replaceable ones as well if you wanted to grab one. But it does look pretty clean. I think over time... It's going to need a deeper cleaning though, so I'm going to have to look into that. Um, if you own this and you do know another way to clean it, let me know in the comments. I would really appreciate that. Okay, so I just did my entire downstairs, including my big area rugs, and I had filled this to, let's see, the large water, it has a large area measurement here, and then a smaller area here, and then it shows you how much uh, the solution to add. So I did fill it to there and I did the whole downstairs and this is how much I have left. So that's pretty good. You're not going to have to worry about running out of solution. And then let's look at my nasty water again before I dump it out. So again, that is my dirty water. So let's dump it out and have a look at that. Let's see here. So this just comes out. Ugh. And there you have it. This is, I don't know if you guys are seeing this, hair came out, which is pretty gross. I am going to go ahead and rinse it down my garbage disposal. If you do not have a garbage disposal, you would probably want to dump that in the trash. I think that's why the pet one may come in handy because it does have that little trap for you. Go ahead and just rinse this out with hot water. You can pull the filter out pretty easily. It just pops out and mine already does have a little bit of debris in it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse it out. Okay, so I do have all my parts rinsed out with hot water and I have them sitting here to dry. I'm gonna let them air dry completely before I put it back together. Okay guys, so I did my entire downstairs. I did my large area rug and my area rug underneath my dining table. And here are my final thoughts. So I'm actually really, really impressed with the way it did my area rugs. I did not have much expectations for that. Um, I was more happy and excited for my hardwoods, but I was really, really impressed with how it did my area rugs. The suction on that thing is no joke. Um, it's really hard to do your smaller area rugs because it wants to pull the entire rug up, but the larger ones, it did no problem. It had great suction. It did a really, really good job. Um, my rug here in the living room, which I'm going to show you in a second, just looks so refreshed and brand new, and I know that it smells nice. The, um, cleaner that I put in it smelled really well, or smelled really good. Um, but yeah, overall, I give it a huge thumbs up. My first time with it, 
I really, really liked it. Um, I liked it more than I thought I would like it, actually. I hope you guys enjoyed this review, um, and I will be using it in a lot more cleaning videos, so if you want to see me using it or hear um, more updated thoughts down the road, then be sure and subscribe to my channel. I do a new cleaning video every Wednesday. And here's a quick view of my rug. As you can see, it looks just so refreshed and nice, and it is a little damp to the touch, but it's not soaking wet at all. It looks so good, and I really really think that it did a good job of vacuuming it at the same time as sort of just refreshing the fibers on it. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!